Uh, Neil, really tough day at the office today. Uh, 3-1 defeat, what did you make of it? Well, I thought Leeds started really brightly, you know, in, at the beginning of the game for, for, for 10 minutes and, and that's where it ended really. You know, I thought Forrest got on top, top after that. Um, I thought they were the side that looked more important throughout the 90 minutes. Um, and to be honest with you, you know, I think they deserve the three points. And um, the worrying thing from Leeds' point of view, the, the Forest to the side that have been conceding quite a few goals. And, and Leeds, apart from the, the outstanding free kick of Calvin Phillips, never really looked like opening him up in general play that much. And, um, you know, Gary Monk will be disappointed with that. He will be disappointed with it. He said they need to cut out the errors in defending. He thought they'd dealt with the set piece problems, but. Clearly, there were frailties again today. Two goals straight from corners. Well, yeah, and I looked at the setup. You know, there were nobody in the hole at the near post, and it was obviously something that Forrest must have identified and targeted because they hit that area twice. You know, and the first two corners went in there. Um, first one was dealt with or scrambled away, and the second one ended with the first goal. Um, you know, and then the the, the the second goal was just a corner that was swung in, and you're looking at your goalkeeper really to come and help your defenders out because it's six yard boxish. Um, and the lad comes in the back stick, not the biggest, uh, and, and, and heads it in. And uh, that'll be disappointing, really. The third goal, uh, to be fair to Leeds, they're chasing the game because they've got the goal back, you know, and they're back in at 2 1, and you're talking about seconds towards the end of the game. You know, and Burke breaks clear, and it's a fantastic finish. But again, you've got to look at your goalkeeper because he's, he's beaten in a tight angle. Two wide players today. Sacco had the beating of Lehigh on the right hand side, but probably didn't produce enough quality balls into the box. And Hernandez on the far side, really. Flat to deceive, didn't it today? Yeah, I, I'm not sure that position why left suits Hernandez, to be fair. Um, and again, you know, he, whether he's got a niche in the side is to be seen. Um, I thought Saka was good, I have to say, and I thought he had the beating of the full-back. Um, and it seemed a strange one, you know, when he came off because he looked like the one that was in the ascendancy and looked like he was going to be dangerous. Um, and I think, to be fair, a roof roof came on and looked like roof. He battled and pushed and shoved and got his body in and, and, and got went past play, players. So, um, a little bit of disappointment there because I, I, I think um, you know if they could have got to Sacco more service, particularly in the first half, um, you know Leeds might have got a goal out of it. Calvin Phillips is he's had a couple of cameo appearances, hasn't he? But great way, what a free kick for him! Uh, lovely, lovely finish. But well, Calvin's always scored goals, you know, in his time in the 21s, you know, when I was in charge, he, he, he was always a goal scorer and, you know, that's what brings you to his, his attention to him and um, he's capable of that sort of thing. And, um, you know, Calvin's ready now and, and obviously it's, you know, it's, it's up to the manager when he goes in and has a prolonged spell, in, you know, in the side. But um, he's sure today that when he's come on or when he has come on in games, I thought he did the same thing as regards his performance uh, against Fulham as well when he came on. And uh, he's shown he's more than capable of coming on and playing at this level. Overall, then, obviously, disappointment. It's a big two weeks. Gary Monk is going to use it to work with the players and try and get his ideas across. But the transfer window is vital now, is it? It looks clear for everyone that Leeds need some reinforcements. Well, it does, and you know, it's got to be assessed pretty quickly. Um, it's funny because today's game, it was a bit of a shedding. You know, if we would have got three points today, it would have probably shoved us into the top half of the table, roughly around about 10th position. You know, and if we didn't get three points today, then you know, if I look at the league table, I think we're fourth bottom. You know what I mean? So it, it leaves a bit of a sour taste. And although you don't want to look at the table at this point of the season, you know, you, you're better off being in a better position, you know, whenever you are in the season. So um, I think there'll be um, a good review. There's a good chance to have a good review of what's happened, you know, and where they're at at this point in the season. And if they need to strengthen, then obviously, you know, there's not much time to do it. So they need to do it pretty quick.